Hey everyone, I found a neat little piece of software called EBSynth that will allow you to quickly and easily apply styles to your video footage from something like this easily to something more like this. I'll show you how in just one second. Alright, so it's pretty straightforward to do and very easy. It's a basic folder structure that you'll need to follow by creating a folder called Keyframes, Out, Sequence, and then what you're going to have is you're going to have your original video footage that you'd like to convert into the stylized output. Okay, so keyframes. What is keyframes? Keyframes are a set of two photos that you'll use so that uh, you'll transition in between one, for example, with his mouth closed and his uh, eyes open or vice versa, where there's some variation in his facial expressions, and then a second photo that's going to have um, something that's obviously different than the first. Let's say he's got his eyes open and his mouth closed. This one here you may have it where his mouth's open and his eyes are closed. So it's got a little bit of information to work between and work with. The output is where it's going to generate a series of images where it makes a comparison of those two keyframe images that we used and then it's going to generate our stylized footage here in the form of a PNG or JPEG sequence. Sequence is going to be where we've taken and extracted a PMG image sequence from our original footage and it's going to use these to make the comparison and apply the stylization to. And then here's our original footage. Now how this works is in EVSynth or EVSynth it uh, you're simply going to drag folders, folder structures containing keyframes, your output which is automatically generated by EVSynth and your sequence into these areas here. For example, the project directory would be the structure that you see here. Okay, our keyframes are going to be this directory and you can populate this information simply by dragging this information into here. It will populate that with the path information that's required. And the sequences, same thing that you see here, you're going to drag this folder that contains our PNG image sequences to this area here. Keyframes. What we're going to do is we're going to generate an entire video from these um, sequences from for all key uh, sequence uh, PNGs involved. And we have a total of 923 in this directory. So how this will work is <clears throat> we're going to start at keyframe 1 and we're going to stop at keyframe 923. And the output is automatically determined. That folder is automatically determined by the software. Once you begin to synthesize or run all, it will create that output folder for you. So there's really no need for you to do that. So once rendering has completed, and it can take a little while depending on the length of your video, we're going to go from something like this, which is our original footage, to something more along the lines of this, which is our stylized footage. And you can see it's quite easy. Alright, so once you've completed your image sequence generation and you've generated all the stylized images from your clips that you prepared earlier, you're going to bring that series of images into any video editor. Um, obviously import them as an image sequence. At that point you're going to make certain that you establish your frame rate which would be something that would match the frame rate in which the video was in its original format and then export that out as a uh, mp4 movie file or your favorite video format. And so that's pretty much it. It's very straightforward and easy to do. I'll put a link in the description below. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.